Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Sid Meier's Civilization VI in our Glory of Rome series. We are um, really close, like really close, to being able to declare this war over and declare this game over. And I'm very excited about doing all of those things. Uh, we are in the process of slowly moving these units downward. I think I can now. Hang on. What's the range on this unit? Yeah. I move you over here. The next turn I can move you down and all of these units will benefit from your movement bonus. Very good. Uh, but we're in the process of nuking the crap. We could actually nuke New Delhi and end this right now. But I've been moving these units into position so long that I kind of want to attack them on foot. I mean, I feel like it would be futile to have done otherwise. Um, plus, we've done enough nuking otherwise in the series, so I don't have to feel like I've necessarily... Like, I have to nuke something in order to be satisfied. I have been satisfied. Let's go ahead and nuke the airport. Or not the airport, but let's hit the airport. Um, and we're going to keep doing that with our other bombers. All right, speaking of airports, it looks like... Uh, oh, I can build a power plant. Castro de Nugetia. That'll help a couple of cities in the area. Let's go ahead and build an airport there. Hmm. Constantinopolis still having amenity issues. Again, most likely due to war weariness. Why don't we go ahead and build another jet bomber? Because I can't bomb India enough, apparently. Uh, Odensea could benefit from not being in the rotation. How about that? Let's just do a nuclear submarine armada and say, go away. Don't need you to be bugging me every turn anymore. Um, Area Flavia. Uh, do, 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 do. do another medic. Sure. Why the heck not? Uh, mosque in Mobamia. And then how about a builder? And how about, ooh, I can do that airport in Washington finally. About bloody time. Hmm. In Thebes, I'm gonna go ahead and do a zoo because it looks like there are some entertainment issues in the area. Palmyra, same thing, we're gonna go for a stadium, get people happy. Uh, Poitium could use a harbor, but <laughs> It, they wouldn't be real harbors. They would be kind of... Oh, I didn't realize we have... Um, nice. We've got Hui Kali here. I did not realize we had that. Okay, Poitium could benefit from an aerodrome, though. They could. They really could. Um, we could chop down... Well, I, I want to be able to chop those, those trees down myself to give the city some production. So I think I'd rather give... Like, just do a military academy and maybe build... How about a theater square? I mean, it's, it's so arbitrary at this point. Um, yeah, let's just put one there. It's not something we're ever going to see. I just feel like I have to make something of a decent decision. Modern Armor Army, very good. Petrovium. Mm, do another builder. Still need some builders up in that area. So work on it, please. Research Lab in Colwesia. Research Lab in Volgograd. Uh, can't buy a sewer in Tolara. However, we can go ahead, check that out, throw down a harbor. That's pretty nice. Okay, now what else do we need here? This is our archaeologist. And I don't remember if there are any other spots, really, that... There's one antiquity site out in Japan. There's one up there in Russia. Oh, there's one right there. There's a, there's a shipwreck right there go. You're going to go through India's territory, which means you're probably going to die. Good job, idiot. Ugh. All right. Well done. Glad you thought that through. All right, let's go ahead and move some of these units a little farther along. Okay, now this great general can probably move you here, just to make sure the radius is a little bit better adjusted. Didn't really affect any of the units that I was moving, but that's fine. We have some other units that are on their way in. And I can continue to use bombers on various buildings that will thoroughly wreck Gandhi's day. Modern Armor Army can come all the way over here. Yeah, we have a massive military force getting ready to surround 
Gandhi, can I rebase you to a little bit closer? I mean, I can, but that is a little bit out of range. We discovered that recently. So it kind of sucks. All right, let's move you there. All right, and then this jet bomber can do what? Nothing, really. I mean, I can attack their culture. So let's do that. Just to make New Delhi nice and upset about their lives before we conquer it. I'm feeling a little bit vindictive. I think this is going to be the last episode of this series. I really do. I'd be surprised if we are not done by the end of this. Let's go to that antiquity site. It's in our territory. Why not? Okay, rocket artillery can't quite fire yet. Neither can you. Yeah, the tank still can't actually attack New Delhi. However, you can come up here. You can't pillage because there's not enough movement points left, but we need to pillage that in order to get that unit healed. Um, I can also continue to pillage the improvements around the area to heal up this tank, which kind of amuses me, so I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, I can't fortify you this turn. I can give the order, but it's not actually going to listen. Okay, we're going to send that naturalist home, or whatever they're called. Um, and get this unit a little bit closer to shore. Some of our naval units are arriving in the area, which is nice. Not really going to use them for this fight, but it's good that they're there. Uh, let's rebase you. And, yeah, we don't really have enough forward air stations in order to be useful, really, with our air forces anymore. All right, let's go ahead and repeat this route. Let's see. Roman medic. Um, if I move you down here to this airport, I can airlift you to Constantinople and make magic happen. Any Indian apostles? No, none. Lots of Russian apostles, no Indian apostles. Okay. Um, oh. Oh, those fish are already improved. Never mind. I don't know why I was looking at them as unimproved. But let's go ahead and move this builder out here. Okay. Uh, what city did that go toward? I didn't see Comasium's production change. That's quite annoying. All right. I'm going to cut down rainforest that is along roads. Those are my new rules. And it generally helps build things. Um, yeah, let's, let's just do a mechanized infantry army here and put that away. Machine gun army can do what? Uh, you actually can be airlifted, can't you? That's why I moved you there. So let's put you in Constantinople. Meanwhile... On. Where are the roads here? Yeah, there's one. It's a struggle to kind of see them. All right. That didn't quite need to be chopped down, but we did it anyway. Um, everything else is looking good. We can chop that down. You come down here because there's a lot of tiles that need to be improved for production reasons there. You can chop that down around Colwasia. Yes, yeah, we've been trying to chop that down for a bit because there's so much going on in the area of that city. There are some cities that are just surrounded by jungle. I'm going to be so much better in future series about cutting down rainforest uh, when needed. I don't need to cut down all of it because that's terrible, and it actually hurts universities that are near it. But... Um, See, let's shop that down because it just it helps with production so much. It just has an extraordinary impact. All right, Apria. So you need lots of things. Let's go ahead and just get an arena going there so that people are happier with their lives because that city's not happy. It's not growing and it doesn't have all of its um, doesn't have housing in place, doesn't have amenities in place. It has problems. They're complaining about everything. Uh, let's go ahead and get these pearls improved. We already have pearls, but. Improve the incense. Need to go improve that cotton. Improve that coal. Remove this marsh. Again, lots of marshland in this area. Right, let's go ahead and plant some woods there. 
build a farm there. And then, are we going to the next turn or what? All right, mechanized infantry. Um, why don't I bring you down here? Same with you. Missile cruiser Armada has arrived. Let's bring them up a little bit closer to the coast and go to the next turn. All right, this is going to be a telling turn. No, Gandhi, you don't get peace. No, sir, that's not happening. You can try, but I'm going to keep bombing the crap out of you. Russia has built an industrial zone in Tver. Probably not going to help them win the game, just saying. Science-wise, has Gandhi done anything more? No, they still haven't. It's really surprising how Gandhi just kind of backed off completely from that. I mean, he could still be doing research. Yes, I've been wreaking havoc on his space program itself, but he seems to have just stopped pursuing the science victory several turns ago. It's kind of taken the wind out of my sails as far as competing with Gandhi, and hopefully higher level difficulties of the AI and just future versions of Civ 6 will... Uh, We'll make that a little better. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and pillage that trade route. Now oh, there's lots of trade routes around here that need to be pillaged. Hang on. Oh my god, look at these. Look at all the gold I just got from him. Holy crap. Alright, and there are still... Missionaries, too, that I can kill. Now, see, this unit is in range and can now fire... This unit can now fire as well. It's time to start doing some damage to New Delhi's walls. Okay, so mechanized infantry army, you need to go ahead and cross. Uh, you need to pillage that. Yeah, so you heal up. Thank you. Okay, now this great general, let's see, I need to move them. I'm going to move you here, and now all those units are in range of the great general, which is perfect. Let's me move these units a little bit farther along, but you can't really tell because of just how much territory they've got to make their way through. Uh, let's hit New Delhi here. Finally ending this. <laughs> I am ready for this series to be over. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, it's been a very protracted series, and I've, I've definitely discussed some of my complaints in past episodes. I won't reiterate them here as far as what's made it protracted, but, uh, but things are, are coming to a head at last. It's good to see. Uh, Volubius, go ahead and build a stadium. It's fine. Stadium in Nikongia as well. Uh, Amarillo? Yeah, you go ahead and just buy um, an arena, and then we'll start building a zoo. That'll help you. Uh, Baka? What do you need? You just finished a builder, looks like. Um, you need amenities. So what you need is for war weariness to go away, don't you? No, you don't have any problems for war weariness. So what's your problem? What's your issue? Remind me what the tenets of my religion are. Nothing amenity related. All right. Let's see. Van could benefit from any number of things here. I could do a harbor. Yeah, let's do a harbor for Van. Oh, you know what? Hang on. If I can buy a zoo here, I'll buy one in Amarillo, and that way I can just work towards... I mean, I'll still build one in Pisicovium. <laughs> I feel funny every time I say that name. Pisicovium. Uh, let's uh, do a shipyard in Nublana, ancient Dublin. Or I guess modern Dublin now. It's 1911 AD. Okay. Antiquity site there. We'll keep that ranger in place. Okay, so all of these units need to move. All of them. Now the great general can come forward by how many tiles? Just one? Yep. 
We'll skip his turn for now. Rocket Artillery Army is also needing to move. Mm, can't do anything with you, sorry. Alright, Jet Bomber, what can I do? Uh, looks like I can wreck their financial district a bit. I can also keep wrecking their airport, which I'm going to do. Alright, I can rebase you a little closer, but I'd rather just attack. I mean, I... Yeah, there's no point in having this plane here, unless I have a carrier nearby, and I don't. I'd, I would have had to bring it back up from Australia, and it might almost be here by now, if not for that. But we're just going to have that guy skip his turn. That's all we're going to do. Okay, what else can I bomb? Not really anything. I'm going to hit the Culture Center and the Science Center a few more times, just to make sure it's absolutely positively wrecked. But then we're done, I think. Um, yeah, not going to do anything else. Skip turn. Skip turn. Uh, can I do anything with you? Yes, I can hit New Delhi. Alright, and this Ranger army... I'll have them keep an eye on this mountain pass here. Rundizium? Who are you trading with? Mediolanum? Repeat that route, please. Yep, build a farm there. Chop down those trees. Build a farm there. Chop down those trees. It's not really helping as much as you would think in some of these cities. Let's chop down those trees. Farm. Lots more farmland going up as a result of the clearing that I'm doing. I'm going to use that as my excuse. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's uh, get that builder over to the airport. What can I do with you here? Um, that's out of range of any cities, though. However, this is not. We need another city up in this area. So I guess what I'll do is go ahead and build a farm. Alright, nuclear submarine is going to stay put right there near Hoshangabad. We'll put the missile cruiser armada in place at Mambium just in case uh, India tries anything. Let's put you in place down here. Another missile cruiser armada up here. Any India units nearby that could potentially cause trouble? I mean, there might be a submarine, but I don't see any non-submarine units. All right, Chengdi. Um, Lee, I need to move you, don't I? Let's have you travel to... Chengchun. I think that's one of the only places left where I haven't wrecked the Space Center completely. Alright, Machine Gun Army can come down too. This is a powerful Machine Gun Army too. Alright, this Medic needs to join the front line as much as possible, or as quickly as possible. Let's chop down those trees. Get those fish. Uh, seaside Resort near New Thebes. Because it just sounds like a city called New Thebes should have a seaside resort, doesn't it? And then this builder. Mm. Come on up here, I guess. It's almost it, you guys. Almost to the moment of truth. I'm finishing this turn. I think the next one is going to be quite violent. Let's put it that way. Let's have this ranger hang out in Beersheba. I'm surprised Gandhi hasn't nuked me too, I have to say. I feel like he had submarines and the ability to do it, and he's backed off for whatever reason. It might... I hate to say this, because I don't want to undermine our victory here. This has been a lot of fun, and from an, imagina from an imaginary point of view, not imaginary, but just from an imagination point of view, from a storytelling point of view, it's a lot of fun, because, you know, we've, we've gotten to reestablish this massive empire and grow it beyond where the Roman Empire ever did before. And that's happened regardless of how the rest of it's gone down. But the reason Gandhi's not fighting back might have something to do with the AI trouble we've, we've had just in general with, like, the, the game really processing more slowly. The AI might stutter a little bit. The AI, I don't know how it's programmed, but it might actually have difficulty, you know, with this much information. It might not know how to deal with it. It might even have limits on it that, are, that ensure that 
well, not ensure, but that help to create a situation where the AI is just not, where basically it's not considering the full resources that it has. I don't know how scalable it is. Uh, it might just be built for the vanilla game that has certain map sizes. I don't know, but it just seems like Gandhi's not trying very hard. And I'm playing on King difficulty. I mean, he should be... The AI is the same, everything above um, Settler, I think. Um, Settler difficulty, it's a certain um, level lower. But then they, they have a different level of AI and then bonuses that they give it. Basically, handicaps um, for everything else. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Let's kill off these missionaries for every other difficulty level, to be specific. Oh, nice. They've got a barbarian builder wandering around their territory. Why? I don't know. Let's see. I don't want to pillage the road. We could probably use the road. All right, a couple of my artillery can now fire. Well, let's see. Yeah, this is going to be huge. you down. Now, very importantly, um, let's go ahead and get this modern armor unit up there. Let's get this helicopter unit up there. Let's see, all of these units need to move. The ranger doesn't really. Actually, what needs to happen here yeah, that needs to just swap. Okay, I'm gonna get you out there. All right, now what are the units back here that need to move farther? I guess I'll just move them like so. Oh wait, hang on, there is one more thing I can do here. I can move you up there, there we go. And actually, let's go ahead and link these units up. We'll have the Great General hang out with an artillery unit. Okay, now a lot of my planes still have to fly, so let's see what we can do to New Delhi. Because there's a chance we can take it right now. And I talked about this in the last episode, I could definitely nuke New Delhi. That's true. But... I think that's all I can do from here. However, I have some pretty powerful units in the area that are now capable of attacking. Um, I don't know that I can do it this turn, though, ironically. Yeah, still can't quite do the damage I need to do this turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish going through this one. We're going to let the turn cycle. We are going to let this be the last episode, even though we're closing in on the final portion of this. We'll go by a broadcast center there. We're definitely closing in on the end moment of this episode. Um, let's do a mosque in Mobilium. Doesn't matter anymore. Ah, oh, God. I can't stop myself. It's just a compulsion. Like, I, f I feel like I, I need to make something of a, of a sensible decision. Like, like I, I need to put some amount of thought into it, even if the thought that's being put into it is just crap. Like, I'd rather do something with a semblance of meaning than something completely meaningless. Let's see. Eridu. Uh, can't do anything else. Uh, let's go ahead and do uh, armory. Do an arena. Capture that builder. Plunder that trade route. And we have a little bit more visibility into nearby areas as well. Okay. Now, this would count as a minor victory if I did it, but it would hurt the tank a good bit. Let's go ahead and do it. Do a little bit of damage. Why not? This would count as a major victory. Actually, wait. Hang on. I could potentially do this. No, major defeat. Damn. Got excited. I got excited. All right. You guys stay put for a turn. We don't need you moving anywhere. 
This jet bomber can hit uh, nothing of value. Yep, you improve those. And you can improve the iron too, why not? You got a road, that's helping you move. Helping you get everything done faster. So we can do, we can basically plant trees there in the tundra and that'll help turn all those into production tiles. That's nice at least. Modern armor army. I need to fly them to Constantinople. I feel like he probably could have just made that move on his own without flying and probably gone farther. I'll test it next time I have the opportunity. Which I might not. Because <laughs> this is almost done. I'm going to have some discussion questions kind of off the top of my head uh, for you guys when we're done here. So stay tuned for the end of the series because I want to get some feedback from you as far as the series goes and Civ content on the channel in general. So uh, you might, if you've been following the series and some of the things I've said, you might already kind of know what I'm thinking. But, okay, got a farm there. Let's build that mine, build that mine. Okay, those hills are now a lot more productive. I guess I'll start improving some of these desert resources here. Yeah, let's just skip that jet bomber's turn, skip those turns, skip those turns, those turns. Wait a minute. You can move all the way out there. Okay, Constantinopolis, you just need to repeat that route. Actually, wait, you can move there. That's a little bit better. All right, who are you? Um, all right, so I can send you to... I'll just send you to VNTA and why not? Just a random city name. It doesn't matter. The game is about to be over. I can actually fire on them from this point, which is hilarious to me. All right, let's disrupt rocketry in Wuhan. I'm not going to get to it before we're done here. those cattle. Or will we? Let's see what happens now. We've still got some units to move, I think. Just so much to do. Every single turn. That I can't even keep track of. Okay, this settler is in place. Will it have a Roman name or not? Probably not, I would imagine. It's gonna found a new city. And that's... No, <laughs> the Roman city of Chengdu. Uh, let's not call it that. Um, uh, how about that? A monument to what's about to happen. Let's go ahead, speaking of monuments, let's purchase some of these first buildings. And then maybe... We need to give some of these tiles to this new city. Like, all of these. And it doesn't make sense for you to have... Yeah, we definitely want you to have those foxes. And that is not in range of Matelium, so we'll give that to Ultima Vitrix as well. And now that gives me the opportunity to build... Let's just do an encampment here along the road. Doesn't matter. Just for posterity. Now, this modern armor army could come back. Oh, interesting. Wait a minute. We might be able to end this right now. Because remember, you could hit the city. Which one could attack? Is it this one? 
Okay, so you'd be coming from that way. Hang on, this modern armor army... Yep, we got this. We don't have to process the turn. I think we are... G oh, no, we're not. Damn it! Alright. Got excited again. Again. Alright, so these aircraft carriers have arrived. We can hit New Del... Oh, wait. There we go! Alright! <laughs> that makes me feel so much better. In 468 turns. Let's see what we've got here. Come on now. It's got to think about it for a good long while. Hopefully not as long as uh, John Curtin had to think about his peace deal. But this is the Indian capital and also the victory of the game, so the game might be trying to figure that out somehow. Also, the victory. It's the victory over the game, I should say. Oh, look, there's Hong Kong. <laughs> Random uncaptured city-state. Peter hates me. John Curtin dislikes me. Come on, guys. It's not going to take you that long. You're just winning the game. It's not that difficult. <laughs> and you wonder why I say I am glad this series is coming to a close. There we go. Though its face may change throughout the ages, history is written from the hand of the victor. By your actions this day, you ensure our people a glorious tomorrow. Okay. Domination victory for the Roman Empire. Um, you know, I kind of wonder... Hang on, because I said I was going to do it. Let's say just one more turn, and hopefully it won't take too long to load the game back up. We'll see what it does. I didn't realize it wasn't going to just going to take me right back to the map. I thought this was an overlay. Uh, yeah, I know there were statistics I could have looked at there, but um, let's 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 just uh, here's here's what we're going to do. Um, let's go to Arya Flavia. Let's change city production, and let's launch Mars Hydroponics. I want to see what happens. All right, we are going to keep New Delhi. Okay, and let's go ahead and repair... So we need to repair the things we bombed to hell. Um, we got Alhambra out of that deal, so we have an extra military policy we can put in. Um, extra production towards... Eh, I mean, none of this really matters at this point. Let's just do plus one movement if starting turns in, in friendly territory. That's fine. All right, so that's that. It's going to have to think about it for a second, maybe. Wait. Or not. Now it's thinking about it. Okay. So it's going to implement those policies and recalculate gold income and such the way it normally does. And then we're going to let the turn cycle. And I want to see if we can launch... It says it's two turns away, but I think it might just be one turn away because that's what happened with the last space project. I want to see if we can launch the space victory too. Because we worked toward it. Why not go for it? Right? I mean, that's my thinking. But um, while, that, while we're waiting on that, what I want to go ahead and do is, like I said, I, I want some thoughts from you guys as far as... The series and um, future Civilization series as well. Um, specifically, you know, when I decided to do this series, I was a little hesitant. Um, past TSL series that I've done have tended to taper off in views a little bit more, and the reason is that um, the unpredictability of the map tends to go away for people. And that's an important um, thing to think about. Um, but also... When you play on these big maps, these really, really big maps, you start running into the issues like what we've seen here. And it kind of, for me, from a content production standpoint, 
it is difficult for me to think in terms of um all right, let's see if this launches hang on saying two turns but i'll bet you it'd be done in one that'd be nice if it was probably not going to worry about it if i have to go through a whole other turn this series has gone on long enough i was just hoping that we could do it in one turn i cut it off at two just because of what happened with that previous space project but uh Hold that thought that I was saying a second ago. I'll come back to it. Now, because we've already won, I doubt it would actually show us the science victory cinematic. It'd be cool if it did. Okay. Yeah, still one turn away, unfortunately. So, anyway, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. We've won the victory. This is the, the Roman Empire. Let's go ahead and switch to um, strategy view for a bit. So you can really appreciate the amount of territory we're looking at here. I mean, just... We control so much of the New World. Completely control both Americas, really. We just haven't fully colonized them. Uh, we control most of Australia. <laughs> just, just an incredible amount of territory for the Roman Empire, including in India, which never happened. But, um, but yeah, we've definitely accomplished the series objectives and then some. But anyway... Uh, what I was thinking is just that future Civilization VI series, I, I think I'm going to shy away from giant TSL Earth until uh, there are some guarantees that this kind of massive loading issue um, is not as much of um, a concern. I think that's the way to go. Uh, just because when I play Civilization VI, I don't want what has happened to this series to happen to the typical series. I like shorter Civ VI series, and I like series that even when they're longer are more exciting. And when load times and uh, other things like that take away from um, kind of the punch of the episodes, the past several episodes have been, what, maybe two turns per episode tops? Sometimes one and a half turns per episode tops? That's insane. Like, early episodes in a Civ VI series have uh, close to 50, if you're going fast, you know, turns in one episode, at least 20 in each episode, um, depending on how quickly you're moving and the speed you're playing on. But it's just uh, something that I would like to think about with you guys, and I would welcome your commentary on this because I want to know what you want to see in terms of uh, content in the noon slot. And of course, we will be bringing, bringing back other games other than Civ soon, but as long as there's this new content to cover, um, uh, I, I want to make sure that that stuff, that my Civ audience and my, my personal Civ playing itch is scratched, so to speak, and satisfied. Um, and then we will... Um, consider you know bringing some total war back or just doing some some new games in the noon slot we'll see how it goes but um then we'll talk about that when i finally put the uh, the look ahead up in the coming days which should be soon thank god um but yeah give me your thoughts in particular on long civ series and on tsl earth civ series because um this is getting a little bit crazy as far as how much uh it's how much time it takes to run a series like this um, and I, I want to make sure that that everyone is uh, given the opportunity to, to speak up and, and share their thoughts on it. The other thing, um, aside from that, is just that, you know, long-running series have a tendency to, you know, at, after a certain point, uh, I think past episode 30 or so, most people tend to stop watching and you end up with um, the more hardcore. Now, that's not to... Um, that's not to diminish the importance of, of you guys who do stick around for all the series and, and the diehard loyalists to the series or to the channel. I appreciate you very much. But there's a balance, right, to be had there. So lots of factors to discuss, and I appreciate in advance. This concludes, at long last, <laughs> at long last, the Glory of Rome series. I appreciate you very much for watching. Stay tuned to the noon slot for other historical grand strategy and Civ Six content in general in the coming days. Again, comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next series.